Hi, I'm Bernadine Voss, the Mayor of the City of Port Phillip. The South Melbourne market is one of the most loved and cherished places in Victoria. The COVID-19 pandemic changed everything here. Most of the market traders closed due to government rules, but some chose to remain open and weather the restricted times. Today, I'm here with Nick and Maria from Piano di Grazi. Hi Nick, hi Maria. We're here at your beautiful store. Tell me what the name of it is and also how long you've been here. Uh, our store is called Piano di Grazia. We have been here for nearly two and a half years at the South Nova Market. And you're in the food court and what sort of things do you sell? So basically, obviously, we specialise in Italian food, um, but our main traditional food that we have is beautiful pizza taglio, arancini, croquette, um, piedini, and then we do amazing, beautiful hot roasts uh, alla italiana. So I'm wondering how the COVID pandemic has affected you. I see that you chose to trade through it. Take me through the thought processes around that. We thought we're here for our local community and for the our locals in South Melbourne. So what we did is we stayed open. We made sure that we could offer amazing take home meals. We did lots of free delivery. During that time, we created a whole new menu. Um, we offered a lot of home delivery services to the elderly in the area. So how did you manage um, with the physical distancing requirements? We are very lucky how we've designed our store from day one. We already have the 1.5 distance and then also with the staff obviously we couldn't keep them all on at that time so we were on a rotational roster. Did you expand your range during that time? We definitely did. So due to um, the deli aisles being shut, the entrances, everyone was coming through the food hall. So what we thought we'll do is show showcase our amazing food that we can offer. And we did bump it up even more than we usually do. So our poor chefs had to stay back until late the night before, but we made sure that we had all varieties to actually to, um, to offer to our customers. So financially, how has the pandemic affected your business? With the support of our lovely council that we have, um, what we did was we went ahead and decided to do a whole new me um, website menu. So we went ahead and we innovated, created a website. So instead of just waiting for it, we thought this was the time to go out there and showcase. So what has been the key for you in remaining open? The key would probably be my customers. I actually listened to what the customers wanted. During the time, there were a lot of special requests for different meals because elderly have, their immunity was quite low, so they wanted meals done and we went ahead and heard them. And it sort of reminded me, being a carer for my father, I thought it's important to offer the best to our customers. That's very interesting. And do you think you've got a whole new um, host of customers now, so that people coming in the different entrance? We definitely have. Genera so Generational gener customers. Yeah, generational customers have definitely come through thanks to again the market and the council with arrangement of getting them to come through the food hall we've actually attracted a whole new a whole new customer base and as Nick said all generational fantastic yeah it's been really really good